I figured I would redo everything I have done so far, so I'll start from the very beginning. To be fair, this is hardly a game that people watch with bated breath. always bothers me that it's not the closest doctor that is free currently that goes to a given room, no. It's I think the most qualified or the least tired doctor, so he might have to go through half the... That's it might be a key. He might have to go through half the hospital to get there. And it's upsetting as hell if you meet someone there quickly, rather than the best, most competent person. Eventually. As usually is the case, I don't have the money. Here comes the Hall of Shame. I could never get into the Hall of Fame. Never, ever, as I played this game. Have I ever been to the very bottom of it, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> well, I appreciate the fact that you are here for me now. Great value, no deaths. A decent kill count, but not as great as this guy. Not as high of a salary as some other people. And I'm definitely not the richest, but here are some awards. Impressive reputation gives me cash. Valuable hospital gives me reputation. Clean hospital reputation. Money for keeping it clean. And no one died, so I get money. Game over. You've made excellent progress. We have found someone else for you. Something somewhere else for you to run. Yeah. And of course I won because of the money I got from all the awards. Otherwise I don't think I would have gotten out of debt. <laughs> exactly. And if you want to be perfect, it's it'll be just an endless nightmare of frustration. You can't be perfect. There will be bad things happening, and unless you just keep saving and reloading constantly, you will be restarting constantly, which is also horrible. You just need to let it go. Watch me not follow my own advice. The psychiatric world... somewhere else? Oh, the psychiatric... You could build a world over here if, yeah, I could move the... Actually, you know what? You are absolutely right. I mean, I could build a world here if I move the psychiatric room. And that's the... That's the yeah, that's, that, that's so obvious in hindsight. Yes, of course. You can fit it into this incredibly large spot as soon as you move this room out of out of the way, yeah, thanks. Although... Meh, that's enough. Uh, I should place the bin some... Yeah, there we go, that's enough. Now I just need to squeeze in the research department, but I can't really afford anything more. I will... I will have to skimp on the benches. Benches? I don't even have any staff hired, holy crap. For a single nurse and just four doctors, I think, things are running extremely smoothly. We have exhausted our diagnostics machines on this patient. No, you haven't. You sent him to a single place. Why? What's, what the hell is wrong with these guys? All right, get him to wait. I have no idea what's going on here. I mean, it's clear to me that he's been to a single place, and that's it. Why isn't he going anywhere else? Why? Why? I have so many diagnostics facilities. Um, I think it was someone diagnosed with uh, invisibility and someone diagnosed with slack tongue. I now have everything and... You know, the weirdest thing about this is that these people have been to a single place, according to their history, the GP office, and they're not getting further diagnosis. 
which is ridiculous. I have so many diagnostic facilities and they are not visiting them, claiming they have exhausted all the possibilities. It's clearly BS. I still got something like 56% for a guy with invisibility that has only been to the GP office. I mean, I understand everything, but if they don't know what's wrong with him, why don't they send him to the cardio, to the ward, to the psychiatrist, everywhere, as I have told them to do? That's not the problem, alright? What's bothering me isn't even that after exhausting all the possibilities, these, these guys still don't know what's wrong with the guy. Because that's something I could understand. But they tell me that they have exhausted all the diagnostic possibilities. Well, in fact, I can click on the guy and find out where he's been and find out that he has only been to the GP office and nowhere else. That means that he has not been diagnosed in all the other rooms I have built. So they are clearly lying to me. They have not exhausted the diagnostic possibilities. Unless certain illnesses can only be diagnosed in certain places, which... May be the case? I don't know. Yeah, there's the threshold, but it's not what I mean. I mean that if any, even if you know what the illness is and you send someone, the cure might kill them. Because it's only about, say, 90% effective or 95% effective. So there's a 10 or 5% chance that they will die because of the cure. I don't know, they're allergic or something. And it will simply not work. It will kill them. And unless you research it enough, unless you concentrate research... Exactly! So you have two factors. First of all, it's the diagnosis. You can, you can diagnose them correctly or incorrectly. And as far as I can tell right now... I mean, you can look, you can look at the guy in question. And sometimes it seems obvious what his, what, what his il ailment is. But as it turns out, even if you know at a glance what's wrong with him, it might not, it might not be the case in actuality. But aside from that, even if you diagnose someone correctly, they may still die because of the treatment. Well, either way, I will accept the promotion and I think I'll click quick save. Wait, what? Oh, look! It's a, it's a bonus level, I think. 